Oh, gee. My question is, can you turn those up a little bit higher, Brenda? Can you see anything? I know it's it, they're they're hitting us right at eye level. Well, in that case, get some more lights. <laughs> That's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. <it's, laughs> but you look good. <laughs> Thank you. Need help. What'd you shoot? What'd you like? <laughs> we hit the target. <laughs> Lieutenant <laughs> Governor and I both hit the target numerous times. Uh, of course, Bobby Cox hit it a few more times than we did. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, we do. We have the virus out there, as we know, and now we have the the, the variant. Uh, but uh, we, we need to be careful. We know what to do. And, but any time decisions are made in the schools, of course, the, the the parents always, in any time, any year, always have to be involved. And I know that you have, of course, worked really hard to keep students physically in school. You think that is still the best There's no doubt about that. I think statistics all over the country, as well as anecdotes, and we'll probably see it on standardized tests as well is the last year with so much uh, distance learning there was in many cases virtually no learning going on at all and uh, we, we are contemplating steps to with, with already with summer schools it's been done but we, we're gonna have to do a lot of catching up because when the children were not in school they were not learning as they should have been. Well, the whole, the whole thing's flexible. I mean, we have state law that we are, are operating under. We also have the U.S. Constitution under which we must operate. But every, all is flexible. We are having, uh, getting information uh, every day, uh, hourly, uh, from different places to analyze and stay on top of the situation. Well, the, well, th this is we, we like uh, input from from everyone, as as you know. In all, making all the decisions we've made through this whole COVID time, we've been operating with a group called Accelerate SC, both going into, coming out of, and now contemplating what to do. Uh, we get information, get advice, not only locally, not only from our state authorities, but also from other governors around around the country. Uh, but it's it's very clear that if the parents do not want their child to be wearing a mask and the parents know that child they know the impact of the last year on them they know what's happened with virtual learning they know what's happened with masks they know, there are a lot of sociological and emotional factors and growth that happens and doesn't happen it's impeded in a number of ways so we don't want a, 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 a a school official telling a child that they must wear a mask when their mama and daddy are saying we do not want our child to wear a mask. Well, we don't have enough capacity in our children's hospitals to begin with. We don't have enough of them. And uh, they are, I understand from what we've learned that there are, are some, some COVID cases there, but the children's hospitals are, they're great institutions. Uh, and it's, it's not a surprise that they would be nearing or at full capacity. Well, we're, we're operating under the law passed, duly passed by the General Assembly based on study analysis of the things that we're talking about uh, right now. And we are analyzing, following the situation very closely, both in all parts of South Carolina and around the country. Uh, if we, we have the law to uh, abide by. We also have the Constitution to take into consideration. 
but uh, it, events uh, happen, things change, things get better, things get worse. We saw that with the last, last year, and we're watching very closely, and we'll do what's necessary to protect the people of our state, but the, the, stat, the status of the law now is, is very clear, and I think it is in the accurate posture. We've had uh, numerous uh, declarations of emergency, and I'm uh, not interested in another one. Uh, our states of emergency all around the country were, were necessary. I think some states went too far. I think we did it right. We are not in a state of emergency now. That ended months ago, and, and uh, I plan to keep it that way. Well, I don't know the facts of that. I know Sheriff Wright, Wright is a, a very able sheriff, uh, and I, I think we ought to listen to what, he, what he, he says. I don't have the facts on that, but there are law enforcement authorities uh, who uh, probably have the facts by now, and that would be a good question for them. And we always are trying to find ways to make things better for the people of our state. I think we're in a position to lead the country in progress, in innovation, and uh, anything we can do to make it better, we'll certainly do. And thank you very much.